Hi guys, how it's going? Today I'm going to instruct you how to configure our app eShopSync for Shopify on Salesforce end as well as in Shopify end. So after installation of the app from App Exchange, just check if it appears in Install Packages section like this. So after you're done with this, type in Site. So you have to create your own site for the app like this. Click on the link. Click on Public Access Settings. In this profile, you have to give permission to the objects as well as to the fields. You have to give permission to account, contact, contract, opportunity, opportunity product, order, order product, price book, price book entry, product. Now you have to give permissions to the corresponding fields. After this, you have to include all the corresponding Apex classes and visual post pages like this. After the profile permission, you have to create a self certification. Type in certificate. Click on the link. So click on create self signed certificate. Type Shopify. Save it. Now after creating the self certificate, you have to give permissions to the remote site links. Type in remote. Go to remote site settings. Click on new remote site. So you have to give permissions to two remote sites. One is for Shopify first post connected visual post page link. And another is for your Shopify store link. Now after you are done with this, you have to go to the Shopify to configure our connector in Shopify. Just refer our blog. You can see that in installation at Shopify in, there is a link called get it now. Now after clicking it, you will be redirected to this page. In this page, you have to put the store name and click on install. After installation, you will be redirected to this page. Here, you will get the access token. Now, let's come to the Salesforce end. So, you can see that this is our Shopify connector uh, view. In this view, you have to click on configuration. We are already in the configuration. Click on add or I have already created a site. So, let me edit this. You can see that I have already put the credentials over here. So, you have to put the Shopify shop URL over here. The Shopify access token that you got over there. You have to put it over here. You have to put the Salesforce price book over here. And Salesforce site URL that you have created over here. Now, you can switch on the real-time collection sync, real-time product sync, real-time customer sync, and real-time order sync, as well as real-time draft order sync. Now, let's save and press it. So, after this, we came to the object settings. So, in this object setting, it will show that which Shopify objects are mapped with Salesforce objects. I have already mapped it. Collection is mapped with collection, product is mapped with product, customer is mapped with account and contact, order is mapped with order and you can create an opportunity. So, I checked, check marked it and order line item would be mapped with order line item, opportunity line item would be also there. Order fulfillment 
will be also there and I have also enabled the draft order uh, so uh, my draft order will go to the order and draft order line item would go to the order line item now save it and let's proceed so uh, we came to the field mapping in the field mapping it will show which Shopify fields are mapped with which Salesforce field. So ID is mapped with first name. Likewise, there are field mappings for order field mapping, order product field mapping, opportunity field mapping, opportunity product field mapping. And you have the customer settings over here. If you want to sync all the contacts in a single account, then you can check mark this. Otherwise, you get an option to uh, have separate account for order order and draft order. You can create contract also. Uh, so they are asking in opportunity settings, they are asking for default state. I have already put it as prospecting. Uh, and you can create contact, create contract, create contact role and default contact role. So you have this many default contract role. I have chosen the business user. So let's save and proceed. Now in custom field mapping, you can map custom fields of Shopify with Salesforce. So I don't have any uh, Shopify custom field. So I don't have to map anything, but you can do this at your end if you have any. So let's proceed. So in this section, this is record type mapping. I have already made some record types. I mean, I have already made some record types, created some record types. Uh, in this account record type, I have created app. So it will be mapped to app. I mean, uh, the record which, which would be created, it would be in AS record type. Uh, so there is a contact record type, and I have chosen as product. Likewise, if you have order record type, opportunity record type, and draft order record type, you can uh, you can choose over here a drop down list will appear and you can choose any of the record type from them so let's save and proceed here you can add the mapping criteria uh, in the mapping criteria you can take a uh, salesforce field and the shopify field and equalize them and write your logic and make the uh, record to map in the same account so uh, the process is as account ID equals to ID, just add this. After this, uh, you can add uh, like um, like I am putting phone, let's say. Or maybe photo URL to, uh, let's say no. Right, and then adding it, and you can write the logic like this here to map it into the same account. Likewise, you can do the same with the contact as well as product and save it. So, I don't want to add any matching criteria right now, so I'm deleting them and saving this and want to proceed. Now, uh, I want to start with the collection. So, I have already seen a collection. You can see that this is home page. And if you can go to my uh, Shopify in, you can see that there is a collection which has been sent. Likewise, I have sent products. And if you filter it, my store name is Anna Store. So, I have seen this many products, customers, you can make a picture over here too, 
I have one customer and if you can see that uh, I have also ordered and yeah, this is the one so also I have a um, draft order you can see that this is the draft order and this is the opportunity corresponding opportunity is also been created so uh, for more information you can refer our blog and for any other queries in further queries you can contact us we are very much happy to help you thank you